Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an unfold effect. For the first one, we are going to use a mouse spline. Let's create a mouse spline. Let's go to MoGraph, mouse spline. Let's change the mode to turtle. Let's go to the turtle and delete everything but A. Now, let's type minus F vertical bar A. Copy these values and put them right there. Let's now go to value and change the default angle to 180. Uncheck grow movement and let's see what we have. Okay, now we have the unfold effect. So, let's put this mouse spline inside an extrude. Let's go inside the extrude and change the value to 15. And let's check. Let me change this. And then, let's go to frame 0 and put zero on the growth and add a keyframe move on your timeline all the way to 56 change the growth to 10 and add another keyframe let's check the animation that we have right now we could add a mograph cloner we can add the extrude inside the cloner change the distance increase the count to five so we can see what we have right now let's hit play and check what we have we could also add a random effector so let's select the cloner Go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. You could change the random, uncheck the position, and change the time offset. You could experiment with these areas so you can see the different results. Another thing that we can do is go back to the mouse spline and animate the default angle so we can have a different result. Let's see what we get. Okay. Let's delete this and let's start with a new example. For this new one, we are going to use a cube. So let's add a cube to the scene and let's make it editable. Let's move all the way behind the cube so we can see the edge and select this one in edge mode. With the edge selected, let's go to coordinates. Now, let's enable axis and change the coordinates all to zero, like this. Now, let's go to mesh, axis center, axis center, and then select center to selected edges and execute. Uncheck enable axis and go back to 
motor mode. Select the cube, go to attributes, coordinates, and change this rotation to 270. Add a keyframe. Let's move all the way to 24 and then go back to the rotation and change them to 0. Now, let's create a null object. Put the cube inside the null object and then go to MoGraph, Cloner and put the null object inside the clone change it to grid and we just need one line to continue With the cloner selected, let's hit play to check the animation. We need to change the animation, so let's go to the cloner, select transform, animation mode, fix it. As you can see, nothing happens. So now we need to add a MoGraph effector plane so we can control the animation. Let's go inside the plane parameters, uncheck position and change the time offset to 24. Let's go to the fall off, change it to linear, change the orientation to plus x. As you can see the animation is working again. Now we need another plane effector so let's go to MoGraph effector plane change the name of this plane to size and the other one to animation then put the size plane inside the animation move the size plane to the position of the animation plane Let's go inside the size plane, go to fall off, change it to linear, the orientation to plus x. Let's go inside the parameters, uncheck position, select scale, uniform scale and type minus 0.999. Let's see what we have. Now, in the size plane, you need to check invert. We are almost there. We just need to change the fall off of the size to zero. We could increase the grid so we can check the different results. Let's add a random effector, uncheck position and change the weight transform. After that, Go inside the cloner and move the random effector all the way up. And that's it. There are many ways to do this, but I hope you found this one useful.